recording this more for my benefit really but if other people get anything out of it that's great uh, what i've been trying to do for some time has been to obviously connect my neq6 mount so it works from starry night planetarium which i've done but i've been learning from other sources that um, there's something called astro tortilla here which enables you to um, center an object so if you're using a go-to to say get to the Andromeda Spiral or maybe M42. Anybody that's played this game would know quite often, even though the go-to might make a reasonable attempt to get there, you're slightly off center, which can be a bit of a pain if you want to get a reasonable shot. So Astro Tortier kind of helps with that. How exactly it does it, I'll report on that one later. It's been a big enough um, learning curve trying to get this on, but how it is is i've got this installed now this is on windows 8 which is far from ideal it seems windows 7 would have done this in a breeze but um anyhow what we need to do where i've been struggling the why i'm recording this is i need to get that and this speaking to oscom um which is the uh, universal um, platform for speaking to my any q6 mount it is plumbed in and it is switched on and connected to the computer so what i've got left to do now is to enable it I found out that firstly by going to Astro Tortilla's um, interface and then going to ASCOM Telescope, there we go, that's what I want to connect to, but you've got all these other options. It should work through that, PothHub, um, which is where you connect through if you want to put more than one application onto the same sort of you know, OSCOM Telescope. But it doesn't work for Starry Night for some reason, and I get the funny. And I've tried it Windows 7, and it's the same problem there. But this here, connect, connecting via EQ mods, HEQ5 forward slash 6 seems to work. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I've got an EQ6 Pro. So I'm going to click on OK to that now. And it's going to probably think it through. And if it's got the right port, okie dokie, if that was to error out, um, it's because it's got the wrong port numbers. You'd have to come back to. Um, the toolbox and which is there and then just click it on driver setup would then tell you I mean I'm not going to mess with it here but there's the com port there and if you're not so sure click on the binoculars and it will sort of automatically find it and then show it in there com port for us where we are now as soon as you click on ok tab in the correct com port in there it saves the testing so all you need to do then is to uh, power that up. I was going directly through Toolbox and to, to power up OSCOM here, but that's not how it's done. You do it straight from uh, sort of straight from here, really. So that in place now. That's the telescope kind of set up there. That's the OSCOM telescope. It's been parked. So I'm going to now go along to my planetarium software now, and I'm going to click down to telescope, and I'm going to connect, and hopefully. Because where it's been giving me problems has been where it's been flashing up another one of these things. And it's, it's one of these where you can sort of say either I'm going to connect or that's going to connect, but not both. And it's been throwing one or the other off. And it seems to do that if I go into configure first. But just going to connect first and it should go straight there if, if, if you've connected in via the NEQ6 um, way before. So with those in place now, it just remains for me to connect my camera. Now... Backyard DOS doesn't seem to work. It's, it really doesn't seem to work. Astrophotography tool does. These are the ones I seem to be using here. This is astrophotography tool. It seems to be best for this one. OSCOM camera. Mine isn't. I'm using a DSLR 1000D. So to get that to do work, what I'm going to do now is probably... If I did this before and it upset it, I don't know. Run as administrator. Now, some vendors have got a problem with this because it sees that as being another license. Um, Backyard DOS didn't like me running as administrator. It asked me for a um, tool, probably because it's another user as far as it's concerned. So there we go. So I've done that. That's connected in. So that's probably all I need to really do here. So I'm going to minimize that down now. I'm going to come down and it sort of shows error. Camera is on and it's connected in. So I'm just going to go for disconnect here for a second. And then I'm going to go down to astrophotography tool. And now it says status of idle. So it means my camera is connected, but it's not doing anything at the moment. And it just says here that's tracking um, where it was parked, but well, it's in parked position at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just to test it now and 
you won't see because I don't have a webcam connected up, but I'm going to just click on A star, any start random. There we are. Mezzothin, then right click, and then I'm going to go to Slew to Mezzothin. And you can probably hear my mouth slewing in the background as it goes there. So this at least tells me that it's working as it should. In fact, one thing I forgot to do is I've got to click on that and click on that as well. So it says, you can see here, it's it's uh, slewing to the target. And that's it. And I've just had to put together two files, which I've been using um, a website by, whose name I can never seem to remember, uh, Kron Mercia, who's who, who's been um, who's done a lot of work on this sort of thing, and he's he's got his website that that runs through the details on here too, and has the entire um, how to, which has been very helpful um, in terms of getting this um, configured. Because Astro taught here, but you know, it is a bit difficult to to, to, you know, you, to get your head around it. So this is your minimum scale in in uh, degrees and that's your maximum scale there so you've, you've got to get that and that's your search radius but i'm not going to confuse you here this is all something else where if this works correctly i'll come back and do another video and document this but as i say this is more for me to come back to um going forward um, but if anybody else is trying to connect this up and is having problems trying to get windows um eight to work or 8.1 then this it, this seems to be the way forward where i've been forwarding over has been trying to um go for the toolbox here and then going through driver setup and then connecting for as come here and um, that's not what it's supposed to be and it was um K-Ron who kind of um pointed me in the right directions to go straight for this and I didn't realise you could connect straight from there to that without pulling that up first, but apparently you can. So there we are. Where there's been a problem is where um, Astro Tortier has pulled up one of these and Starry Night Pro has pulled up one of these. So um, that's been the issue. But anyhow, now what all I'm going to do is just set it to park. And you can hear that going back to park position. Now, now this is something I will offer here as well. A lot of people are saying that if you're using OSCOM, it doesn't save the um, it doesn't save your, your your alignment. But if you sort of uh, set it back to park afterwards, and it's not far off to be honest with you. And if you save, um, I don't know whether this is. Um, I mean, please you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Where I'm starring that, but if you come up here and then save your um, session. Um, you know, could, could call it name it after the hometown. I mean, I do. I'm just playing with this one at the moment, and then that should, um, in theory, save all your sync stars as well. I'm assuming there. I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem to do any harm doing it anyway. So now I have parked the telescope, and it shows us part there. I'm now going to disconnect from there, and I'm now going to close that down. And. I'm not going to save that because I was just experimenting. So here we are. This seems to be how it works. And then you literally come into whichever your weapon of choice for taking pictures is. I'm using astrophotography tool. And if I can get the thing up and running, this is not a bugbear. Here it is. Oh, dear me. How are you supposed to? I'm just trying to flick through it. Not like in the old days when Windows XP worked a treat. You're listening to me, Bill Gates. Your system's crap. Anyway, it's none of his business is left now. But um, this seems to be the main kind of um, image capturing tool that, that works with it. Uh, extra photography tool. So I suppose I'll be using this one moving forward. Um, but I'd like to test all tools. My advice to you as well, if you can have more than one solution running at the same time, then do so. Um, because there's nothing worse than waiting for clear nights and to end up wasting time um, trying to sort out firefight problems when you could have just bought your kit in, as I've done, set it up in the, in the city room and then played to get your, um, your your act correct. So that's my belief anyway. So anyhow, uh, without any further ado from me, I'm going to thank you for listening and um, I shall report back as I learn more about how this works. Thank you for listening and watching.